Hey, travel friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the must-try foods of Dublin and where to get them. We're going to start off with an Irish coffee. Real quick, an Irish coffee is typically a thimble or a shot of whiskey yeah. with coffee, and then you have your kind of whipped cream on top that should be whipped milk, so like a heavy cream, mm. not ready whip. So the best place to go when it comes to an Irish coffee is going to be Vice Coffee. Vice Coffee is located just on the north side of the Liffey, and this place is a vibe. This is so good. Oh my god. They have a few different Irish coffees. The traditional one is beyond, but we did try all of them so that we got a real well-rounded understanding. This place has won awards for Irish coffee. So it's a pretty good bet that this is the place you want to go. You can find Irish coffee lots of places. You can find them at bars, but I would say a lot of those aren't very good. You know, Vice Coffee really prides themselves on their Irish coffee. So if you're not really into Irish coffee, you've never had it before, or you've had it, but you never really understood the magic, you know, definitely, definitely give Vice Coffee a shot. So the next thing that you have to try when you're in Ireland is fish and chips. We probably went to the wrong location, but if you ask around, you will find that many places point you and many people point you to Leo Burdock's. This is like supposedly like a famous fish and chips place. There are two locations. The location that we went to was in Temple Bar, and it was it was just really really disappointing. Um, but again, you know, everyone still says that the place to go for fish and chips mm -hmm. is Leo Burdock's. We would tell you guys to try the original location. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is near... Which is closer to Dublin Castle. So a lot of times you can grab it, then you walk to the, the Dublin Castle Park and kind of sit down and eat. So yeah. that was our mistake. Yeah. So moving on. The next thing on our list of things you must try when you're in Dublin is Irish stew. And Irish stew differs from stews of other cultures because their protein is usually lamb or mutton and their broth should be heavy beer based as opposed to like stock based or I guess wine based and, and some other cultures. Very, very good. And I think this is something that you should try because I think that the opportunity to try lamb or mutton in this form is not very common in a lot of places. So uh, yeah, definitely give it a shot. And we would recommend you go to O'Neill's. O'Neill's is right across the street from the Molly Malone statue, so central Dublin. Uh, they also pour a good Guinness. Yeah, yeah, good, good place. All right, next up is something that blew Jimmy's mind. Blew his mind. He now wants to live in Ireland forever, and that's going to be your Irish brown bread. Oh, so good. This is so good. I feel like this is like the pinnacle of wheat bread. We're not really wheat bread people and um, and this is a wheat bread that you really can't get in the US and I've looked into baking it myself and the ingredients are just it, it, it's just really really hard to get here in the US the bread is like nuttier there's like a sw slight sweetness to it a heartiness to it like a good textural bite to it, uh, it it's so good and then when like, you slab butter oh my yeah, the oh, Irish butter oh, really yeah. takes it off the charts. Yeah, yeah. For me, visually, I think this is something that happens to a lot of people. When you see just a brown bread, you're like, yeah. oh, that probably is like dry and not tasty. Yeah. Man, this yeah. thing is just, yeah. you can get it everywhere. Just I, I, everywhere. I had... I didn't even like, I didn't even think about it, right? Like, like it's like okay, yeah, this is like their traditional bread. I really didn't even think about it, but this is a, a very it's very special, and it's it's very hard. 
it's it's very hard to find something else like that. Even though you know we frequent like artisanal bakeries mm -hmm. all the time, looking for unique and special breads. This is it's like definitely like definitely try it and and honestly, if you like it, eat as much of it as you can over there because once you leave, you're really going to miss it. Uh, we don't have a particular place because we feel that anytime you go and get traditional Irish food, uh, you'll you'll get a side mm -hmm. of the Irish brown bread. So it's typically available everywhere. Yeah. Almost everywhere. I think you can also go to the grocery store mm -hmm. and get a loaf and get a little stick of butter. <laughs> And it would be, butter. and it would just be a great, a great breakfast. Yeah, yeah that is true. <laughs> we eat that. All right. So the next unique food is going to be boxty. Boxty are Irish potato pancakes, but they're not what you would think of for breakfast. These are yeah. going to be more lunch, dinner, more savory. Yeah. They're unique. They're, they're unique. unique. I would, I would say that. Yeah, they're unique. I would describe them as a, a thick dense pancake mm -hmm. or a very thick dense crepe <laughs> yeah. uh, worth a shot for those who are food hunters or you're like really trying different things they're they're not that common to find like mm -hmm. it wasn't like we were going through ireland or dublin and and box tea was all, always on the menu. That wasn't true at all. The place where we recommend you guys trying is Box Tea House. This is in Temple Bar. We really wanted to, to try to avoid Temple Bar establishments, but there weren't that many options uh, that we could find online to, to try Box tea. Go there if you guys want to try it. If you are not close to there or you have a limited time, it's definitely skippable. So. Yeah, no need to go out of your way for box tea. Yeah. Last but not least is going to be your traditional Irish breakfast. So what is this? This is like eggs, plus or minus some beans. There's usually some potatoes. Brown bread. Black White pudding black or pudding. brown pudding or something brown like pudding. that. It's a good high calorie way. <laughs> high caloric to, intake here. High caloric way to start your day. Um, and we would recommend you guys just eating it at your hotel. You're usually going to have access to this at your hotel or your bed and breakfast yep. that you're staying at. Uh, think of it kind of like sunrise. the American sunrise breakfast yeah. where it's like eggs, bacon, toast. Yep, yep, yep. It is your traditional breakfast and sometimes they do it at breakfast buffets. Yeah. So you yeah. don't really need to go out of your way to find it or any just breakfast place will probably have it. Yeah. If, if your hotel or wherever you're staying doesn't offer it, you can hop by probably any, another hotel, any hotel that in the morning and, and get it. Okay. Well, these are the must try foods. Let us know if we forgot anything. Uh, let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe and happy eats. Bye.